Lesson 6 of Chapter 1 is going to show us how to use precision in measurement. Uh, precision is very important with measurement, especially when you get to careers that, that do a lot of measurement because you know, a lot of times half of, a, half of an inch could, could be costly in, in many different ways. It could, could cost a lot of money. It could even cost lives if you're in the medical profession. So we need to compare precision in measurements uh, to decide what is precise, um, identify significant digits, and then we're going to calculate using significant digits as well. So first thing first, we're going to choose the more precise measurement. Here we have 7 centimeters and then we have 7.3 centimeters. For the 7, there is no fraction of a, of a centimeter, but this one gives us uh, the fraction of a centimeter. It's, it's more precise. There's more, what we're going to learn is more significant digits. So we would say that the 7.3 centimeter is the more precise measurement. Here we have 5 yards and then we have 16 feet. And in this kind of question, you want to ask, what is the smaller unit of measurement? The yard is much longer than the foot. So if you wanted to measure something that was more, be more precise, you want to use the smaller unit. So the 16 feet would be the more precise measurement. Same thing with the one pint and then the 16 ounces. It'd be really difficult to measure ounces with a pint glass, but it'd be really easy to measure pints with ounces. Ounces are the smaller unit, therefore you can be a little bit more precise. So we're going to say 16 ounces is a more precise measurement than one pint. And then we're going to learn about significant digits here. So what are significant digits? And I have some rules here to help guide us. Um, first rule is all non-zero digits, they are significant. So in this example, 281.39, I have all five highlighted because none of them are zeros. So anything that's not a zero is significant. Some zeros can be significant though. So zeros that are to the right of both the last non-zero digit, so here, and then and the decimal point. So that's a big and. So that's be to the right of the decimal point and to the right of the non-zero digit. So this would be a significant zero. These wouldn't be because they're to the left of the last significant digit. And this one is to the left of the decimal and the significant digit. So it's, it's none of these zeros are significant. But this one is because it fits both of these qualifications. Then zeros between significant digits are also significant. So we have a 5 that's significant. We have a 7 that's significant. So these two zeros are significant as well because they lie between the two significant digits. So let's look at these ones and see if we can figure out how many significant digits there are. I have 290.01. So the 2, 9, and 1 are automatically significant. And these zeros would be significant because of rule 3, zeros between significant digits. So we're going to say 5 on that one. Here we have 0 0.8500. Uh, so the 8 and 5 are automatically significant. Um, these two are going to be significant because of this rule. They're to the right of the decimal and the last significant digit. So these ones are. This one's not because it's to the left of the decimal and there's no significant digits over to the left. So this one will have four significant digits, these four numbers right here. This one, for example, though, we have the 4 that's significant. We have these three zeros. Um, they're not between any significant digits, and they're also not to the right of the decimal point. So these zeros are not significant. We only have one significant digit in this 4,000 mile uh, number here. Let's look at these uh, problems then. We need to perform the indicated operation, write the answer with the correct number of significant digits. To determine the correct number of significant digits, you need to find the number with the least amount of them. So for this one, we have 45.1 and 19.45. 45.1 has only three significant digits. Therefore, your answer is only allowed to have three significant digits if, 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 you round, if you're going to round it correctly. So let's do this one. 45.1 plus 19.45. That's going to give you 64.55. So let's write that down. But we need to round this to only three significant digits. We currently have four. So we need to round it to this tenths place. So five is going to make you round this five to a six. So it would be 64.6 for your answer in the correct amount of significant digits. Here we have 6.4 and we have 2.15. So I have two significant digits here. I have three here. So if we're going to multiply this, we're going to round to the nearest two significant digits. So you have 6.4 times 2.15, that's 13.76. Now we have four significant digits. So we need to round to the second significant digit, which would be the three. So we look to the seven. The seven tells us to round that up to four. So it'd be 14, 
feet would be our answer. And let's not forget the centimeters on this one. So that would be the answer in the correct amount of significant digits.